There is a hoopoe in the middle of the road. My favourite bird name ever, or one of them. Based purely on the fact that it goes hoop hoop, hoop hoop, hoop hoop. The African hoopoe. They, we get them in Johannesburg everywhere and they get very very accustomed to people to the point that I've seen one of them walk through somebody's legs that was so engrossed with its probing into the dirt to look for grubs and insects. And I think it's a bird that all of us who grew up in Johannesburg are very familiar with. Johannesburg of course has become basically a city forest. It's, it's one of the greenest in terms of, of trees and plants, one of the greenest cities in the world. And that's completely changed and shifted the bird dynamics in the in the city and brought in all sorts of extraordinary unexpected birds like kukuls and special uh, different species of cuckoo. Bop, bop. Got something. Of course the nerves on the end of that bill are very sensitive to any kind of movement, any kind of vibration in the soil. They've got such stubby legs. The more I look at their legs, the more ridiculous they look. <laughs> when you compare them to something like a lapwing. Blop, blop, blop. Now, Megan, you want to see, you want to know why we see the hoopoos more frequently in the road, more so than other birds. I think that they like the roads, especially at this time of year, because it's slightly easier for them to wander around unimpeded by plants and grass. I think it's also just easier for us to spot them when they're in the middle of the road. But they seem particularly, they are one of the few probers that like these sorts of areas. Hardy dars will tend to spend more time around the slightly wetter areas. That's a much bigger, that's an ibis obviously, but that's also a prober. And they will, they prefer, they're much, they're much larger, so I think it's actually easier for their bulls to sink down into softer mud and sand. Whereas for the hoopoos, it's a bit more tricky. I mean, it's a bit less tricky, because their bulls are so thin. And I think that's one of the reasons. The other birds that we see regularly on the road, of course, lapwings, um, franklins, spurfowl, they spend a lot of time on the road, and hornbills as well, digging through dung to search for insects. It depends on your time of year as well, which particular birds you're going to see where. Interesting thing I learned whilst watching these, oh, not watching, doing these live safaris, is the fact that hoopoos actually have a little pantry that they collect their food. And I didn't understand why one had caught a, a giant grub and had then gone and placed it at the top of a, a dead leadwood. And then I later discovered thanks to some of the viewers sending through the information that they actually have a little pantry that they store. So there you go.